Okay. Unit two, day eight notes, finding angle measures given parallel lines. So we're looking at the first one in our notes. And it says given that A and B and C are all parallel, and D and E are parallel, that's our given. Then it says, Then it says, if measure angle 1, right here, is x plus 24, we can even write it up here if we want. Don't have to. And measure angle 14, down here, is 3x plus 12. Okay? Well, when you first look at these, you can tell that both of them are acute. Now, what we can do now is we could technically do a really long proof here and prove that one is congruent to 14 by, you know, one is congruent to nine by corresponding, and nine, is four, and nine and 14 are the same by alternate exterior angles. And then at that point, we can use the transitive property to connect one and 14, and we can do all that. We've already learned it though. We don't have to do a long proof and then do the algebra. We can just say that we know, remember, we have proven that we know by now that all of the acute angles here are congruent. And I would go through and mark all of them congruent. And then I go through and make all the obtuse angles congruent. And once I have it marked like that, I can prove almost anything. And if I'm given any angle, I can prove almost anything. Such as, if I was given an acute and obtuse, I would add them up and set them equal to 180. Because I know that all of these are linear pairs, and by substitution, any acute can stand it for any other acute. So since one and two are a linear pair, well, 15 and 2 are supplementary, and 23 and 5 are supplementary because we know they can all be substituted in. That's what all that knowledge we've learned has done for us. So now we know that 1 and 14 are both acute angles. We can just say that x plus 24 equals 3x plus 12, and now we just go back to straight old algebra. We can subtract x, and we don't even have to do the proof anymore. Okay. We did the algebraic proofs just to learn the transition, but we don't have to do that. We can just say 2x. We don't have to say by the subtraction property. In fact, I'm going to subtract 12 again right here. Equals 12. Divide by 2. And I have proof that x equals 6. Now it just says find the measure of angle 6. It doesn't say find the angle. But if it did, all I would have to do is plug in 6. 6 plus 24 is 30. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 12 is 30. Which means all the acute angles on here are 30. Which makes all the obtuse angles on here 150 degrees. Okay. Same picture, obviously. What do we know? We know all the acutes are equal. We're not going to say they're all 30 because now we have a different set of values. But we still can go through and say all those are equal. All of these are equal. Equals 171. 
line goes into
So that does check out. And that's 